Day in July, a crowd assembled at the high school and prepared to say goodbye. For that muggy summer's evening, 21 of them were leaving on the trip which they'd been dreaming of. Ten days in Paris, France, 16 students and their teacher, plus her husband and a mother, plus another from the school board and the secretary too. As those 21 prepared to leave amidst farewells and laughs, they stood along Mulberry Street for one last photograph. The bus drove down I-80, then at JFK arrived. The Paris stream was now in reach, the time of their young lives. They would traverse the Atlantic, courtesy TWA. Through that futuristic concourse, the procession made their way. It was shortly after 8, when Flight 800 left the gate, departing just an hour late. A bag had been misplaced As its Pratt and Whitney's roared The Boeing Jumbo rose and soared Along the New York City shore 230 souls aboard As the flight ascended higher, two dilapidated wires caused a spark and then a fire in the center wing fuel tank. The aircraft started rumbling, it rattled and it shook, but there wasn't any time for much besides some worried looks. It only took three seconds, then it ended in a flash. Flight 800 was engulfed within a catastrophic blast. Several hundred on Long Island saw the blazing amber flare, which climbed, then arced, then broke apart, and plunged into the mare. God bless them. As word got back to Montours, Bill, their hearts and stomachs churned. Some turned TVs to breaking news and watched the ocean burn. They gathered at the high school where they'd been just hours before to see their loved ones on their way, now learn they were no more. I can't describe the savage pain that God forsaken night from sons and daughters torn away aboard that cursed flight. A tragedy much greater than the town had ever known. There was no celebration when the 21 came home. Summer, French club 
of cancel in the autumn. Empty chairs at Christmas dinners. Everyone in the community was wounded in some way. As years go on, while pain made dull, the scars will never fade. Still the townsfolk came together, did their best job to contend. To their devastated neighbors, lent their hearts and lent their hands. They planted a memorial off Broad Street near the school. Lay a flower at the angel, should you never pass on through. And we'll never know the futures Had their flight to France arrived How I wish we had had to learn Their faces or their names How I wish that all the families Had been spared this wicked pain Alas, such thoughts are futile Since those wishes can't come true Instead I have one humble task That I must ask of you Spare a thought or shed a tear Lift your glass or sit and pray